Hello guys, HackerCop here and welcome to part 2 of my custom track tutorial where today we'll be importing this model into Mario Kart Wii. So to start off with, we need to merge all our objects together. So if you have multiple objects like this, you're going to have to press A and then Control J to merge them all into one thing. And then we need to go to, we need to tab into edit mode, press A to select all and then press P, separate by material. And now we can export. Make sure you've deleted all camera and lights objects. If you haven't, you only want meshes. Make sure your model is above the XY plane, otherwise you will respawn when you go below that. And you can go to File, Export. We're going to choose FBX. I'm going to call it Cause. To FBX. And these settings are quite important. Change path mode to Copy. You want object types to Mesh. Scale to 0 0.01, press export FBX. Once you've done that, you need to use your software program. All these will be in the description called Autodesk FBX Converter because Ball Crate requires DAE files in the Autodesk formats, but we don't have any Autodesk 3 modelers, so we're going to use a free program Autodesk made to convert to the Autodesk format. All this software is free and or open source. I'm going to go to Coliada and click Convert. Press Removal. You can now close this and open up Ball Crate. So now we've opened up Ball Crate. We can click File, New Archives, Res Resource Pack. Right click on here, Import Models. and click on our DAA file we exported. These settings are quite important. Normally the default ones are fine, but it's very important to make sure model version is 11, otherwise it will crash. If you're using software other than Blender or SketchUp and your model version is uh, something different, you have to change it to 11. Okay, so now our model has been imported and you can see it in the preview window. However, it's black and white because we don't have any textures. Let's get some textures. I'm going to right click here, import. Let's go to folder and let's get this folder with all our textures in it, the course.fbm folder. Okay, and I'm just going to show you this quickly, pointing out here that your dimensions need to be powers of 2 up to 1024, otherwise they will not work properly in gameplay. We have formats for textures. These here, this one here is for transparency. This is Normal, so this would be equivalent of JPEG, this would be equivalent of PNG. Notice how the data size when I put this up is a lot bigger. Small data sizes use less RAM. Those are generally the two we're going to use. Click OK. Again, CMPR is what we want. We click things like if you function here, swap RGB, this is how I invert tracks. And now if I open this, you can see our model is in there. If I press shift and scroll, I scroll slightly faster. And just to check it, I can press, I can right click here, press preview. And should be able to stream as well. I'm pressing control, right click, and then scroll, press shift, scroll to go faster. I can now see my course here. You may notice that the shading on this is very distorted. You can see uh, the individual meshes and stuff and the reason this is is because you need to in blender to compute the normals sometimes which is the face direction for the shader and as we have not done that some parts look very weird but you can watch videos online on how to compute normals and fix this problem you basically need to reset all the normals and that should solve the weird shading problem. Worth saying it's very important. This here should be have the name course. If it's anything else it will crash the game. You can rename things by right clicking rename or you can just press control N. Make sure that says course. Now we can file save and we want to call this course underscore model dot res. Okay that file name is very important. Now we can close this. Now the easiest way to run this 
in game is to either extract the track files from your disc or just download a custom track and replace the course model breads with this just to preview it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my files from the discs. I'm going to use beginner course.sds which is Luigi Circuits. If you, as I say, if you don't have access to the disc, then you can just use a custom track and modify the course model res of that instead. So I've got Luigi Circuit here and I'm now going to place my course model.res inside that. So there are two ways of doing this. One is to install SDS modifier, have it open the SDS file with that. So I can press enter, open it. Here, yeah, go to course model.res and replace with my modified file. And then I can save it, control S or save here. And I will now have my modified Luigi circuit with my custom track in it. The other way of doing it is to install Weems SDS tools, and this is generally faster for lots of files. To open a command prompt, press go into your directory view and typing CMD, enter, and then typing Weems SDS tools extract beginner course SDS, press tab to fill that out, and enter. Selecting the file, I can see all the files here, and then copying course model res inside that and replacing. And then on the command prompt, doing weaved SDS tools, create begin the course dot D, and then type hyphen O to overwrite our SDS file. Hit enter to execute that, and now I'll show you what our course model looks like. So I should point out now that we've create we've changed the 3d model in the game but we haven't actually changed the collision or where you start so there's a good type called no clip the website we haven't changed the collision so chances are if you drive on this you will either be floating above it or you will fall through the track you will not start at the start of the track and you will not actually be able to drive on it so this is just to preview it in the next part of this tutorial we'll be creating a collision file so you can drive on this and actually play it properly but for now you'll just be able to view it